Okay, welcome back. Something intense is about to happen. Um, in the last episode, I tried killing James by drowning him, <laughs> but not really. Just accidental. Um, accidental drowning, it happens. Okay, so. Moving on. Um, I'm about to go to the hotel, to his hotel room. Um, and then I somehow made it turn into an apartment. And then I was like, okay, I'll come over to your apartment later. And Okay. <clears throat> Let's watch a movie, and what are we going to watch? Um, all right. Skipping this, because this is really awful. Okay. What are we going to watch? Not a horror movie. I'm telling you that now. How about Marley and Me? I hear that's sad. I know. I just want to I just want to show you how tough I am. I'll be over in five minutes, I say with a sigh, and hung up on him. I hopped in my car and drove to Hotel Atumwa. When I got there, I went inside to the elevator and went to level 3. Then I went to 3C, totally forgetting that James That's not lived how in... the rooms in that hotel were. Totally forgetting that James lived in 3B, I knocked on the door. I'm coming, I heard someone say. They opened the door. Hi, you will not believe who was there. Justin Bieber. <laughs> in front of me. Why? Uh, I, uh, I'm Haley, and I am like your biggest fan. Hi, so what's up? I was looking for- never mind. I'm Haley. You already said that. Oh yeah, I'm such an idiot. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I was wondering if we could just have a small chit-chat. Okay, here, you can come in. I walked in and sat down on one of the chairs. Okay, I was wondering, what are you doing here in a tumble? <laughs> this is Justin, by the way. Justin Bieber that randomly lived, quote, quote, lived, lives in, uh, 3C when James is in 3B. Oh, oh the <sighs> odds. Oh, I'm taking a break from my tour, said Justin. Ah, so what's the small chit chat that you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, and I know the obvious answer to the question is um, just in case, can I please hang out with you for the rest of the day? Hmm, I have nothing to do, so sure. What? Are you serious? Yeah, do you have anything else to do tonight? No. Oh, actually, I do. I stood up. I'm so sorry. If I wouldn't have come to your apartment in the first place, I would have never met you. I was actually looking for James, the member in Big Time Rush. Oh, it's okay. He's next door in 3B. <laughs> oh, okay. What are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. Nothing. I have nothing in mind. Are you asking to see me tomorrow? Maybe. I started walking out the door. <laughs> I'll stop by tomorrow. I'll just see if you're here. Okay, see ya. And I walked out to the door to wow, 3B. because that's how every celebrity works. Hey, I heard James coming. It's me, just invite me in. I said, come in. I opened the door. You can't open the door unless you have a key. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Um. So what are we watching? Are we not watching Marley and Me? I Wait. And we are not watching Marley and Me. I just know that you'd cry even if you said you wouldn't. I replied, oh, are you betting me? I bet that you could that you will cry during Marley and Me. I Marley bet you and that will I break you. I bet that you would cry. Fine, it's a deal. Fine, whoever loses has to kiss the winner. Huh. If I just heard what I heard, I'm dumping you. Wow. I said serious. Why? What's wrong with a small kiss? I don't know. I shrugged my shoulders. Wow. Okay, you want to know the truth? I sat down. I always want to hear the truth. Don't be mad when I say this, but oh my god. Before I came, I met Justin Bieber. Yeah. Oh, let me finish. So I just met Justin. I freaked out. I came in his apartment, and I asked him if I could hang out with him for the rest of the day. Then he said if I don't have anything else to do. that. It, that it, then he asked me if I had anything else to do, and I started to say no. And then I totally forgot about you. And then I said, yeah, I had something else to do. And then I said I would stop by tomorrow. Okay, so what does this have anything to do with the bet? I wanted to see who I fell in love with first. I'm really sorry. It's, oh my god. It's okay. Go ahead and dump me now. I'm waiting. What? Now, just dump me now. Just get it over with. But James, I stood up. Now, James, I'm not. Get it over with. I'm not dumping you, I yelled. Ne Come again? I'm not dumping you. I started laughing and sat down. You're not? No. Sure, I like Justin, but not as much as you. <laughs> really? No. Yeah. So does that mean the bet's back on? Yeah. Do we still have to kiss? Do you wanna? I don't know. Maybe. You know, let's just wait to see what happens. Good idea. So we put on Marley and me, and we watched the movie. He cried. I barely didn't cry. I started batting my eyes to hold back my tears. Then I snapped out of it, and I turned off the TV. Well, loser has to kiss the winner. You sure you want to do this? Okay. 
first, let me say this. Betting is, like, promising, and I don't break a promise. <laughs> sure, sure. He smiled and started leaning, leaning in. Almost my first kiss with a celeb. Anyway. <laughs> then his cell phone rang. We groaned. He answered his phone angrily. Hello? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. No, I was just in the middle of something. Really? That's terrible. I'm so sorry. Okay, I gotta go. He hung up. What's terrible? My manager's dog died. <laughs> we oh, just that's terrible. Wa- okay. We just watched Marley and me, and I had his manager call him in the story and be like, my dog died. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. His dog always bit me, and its claws were so sharp. But anyway, so where were we? <laughs> Wait, wouldn't that be Gustavo? Not in this story. Because <laughs> I, I was going based off of their real manager, whoever their real manager is. Um... Anyways, uh, oh yeah, we started, le- uh, okay, yeah, where were we? Yeah, we started leaning in again, and then my phone rang. What? I grabbed it and opened it. Oh my gosh, it's nine o'clock. I have to go. I'll call you tomorrow. But what about our, later, I slammed the door and ran out the car and drove home, and I immediately ran to my room and went to sleep. All right, I'm gonna read through part of this, because we're only five minutes in. It's five more days till James leaves. Today, Adventureland, Bad Hearing, Barbecue, First Kiss. Well, there's a spoiler. (laughs) Spoiler alert. I woke up the next morning and called James. Hello? Hey. Oh, hi. Listen, I'm really sorry about last night, and I want to make it up to you today. It's fine. Anyways, what do you want to do today? Oh, I thought we can go to Des Moines to go to Adventureland for today. Adventureland is in Altoona, not Des Moines, but okay. Same little area on the map. It's fine. Okay, so I thought I would come here and pick you up around nine. Sure, I'll be ready. Okay, I'll see you now. We're okay. Bye. Okay. Uh, We hung up. Ow. That was a really painful burp. We hung up and I immediately got ready and James came to pick me up at nine. I told mom what we were doing and we left to go to Adventureland. We got there and paid and went right inside. Awesome. I said, walking inside. Wait, before we do anything, can't we finish what we almost but didn't do? He asked me. Later, I said, and I don't know what made me think of this, but in exactly five days, right before you leave to go on tour, it's my 18th birthday. <laughs> wow, the odds. <laughs> really? Yup. Really, I might just know what I'm going to get you. You don't have to buy me anything. I'm your boyfriend. I respect that, and I'm buying you something. Fine, I said, laughing. Okay, now what? I'm ge- <laughs> Whatever you want. We started walking and then I stopped. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I was supposed to see what Justin was. Huh? Nothing. It doesn't matter. I started walking again. I was about ready to say I had. I was supposed to figure out what Justin was doing that day. Justin Bieber. Oh yes, Justin Bieber, the most important man in your life (laughs) at this moment. Uh, where are we going? James asked with a laugh. I don't know. Let's just stop for a second. I walk. I stopped walking again and I sat down the nearest bench. Oh my gosh, I just got the best idea ever. I said we should go book some rooms at the inn. I can get a room, you could get a room, we could stay there overnight, the next morning go out for breakfast and go back to the hotel, stay at the pool, and then go back to Adventureland, and then check out, and after that go back to a tumble and bad day tomorrow. Okay, one, you talk way too much, two, I highly doubt your mom would allow that, and three, I think the other guys would miss me too much. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's the excuse to get out Okay, of. one, I do not talk way too much, two... I'll tell her everything that happens. And three, I know you've stayed away from the guys longer than more than two for longer than more than two days. Longer than more than longer. <sighs> Shush. Okay. Instead of saying one, two, and three, explain one, two, and three separately. Okay, we already settled one. Mm-hmm. What? Nothing. That's what I thought. Two, your mom isn't going to let you stay out of town with someone you wouldn't that someone that you've only known for three days. She'll probably be afraid I'll kidnap you or something. I know you wouldn't do that. Well, she might think differently. Anyway, As I'll call her later. Lets us stay in a hotel the entire week. Oh no, no, no! My my dad already said beforehand. He's like, oh, we can't take any weapons on him because he's going through TSA and other things. So, oh, it's fine then. <laughs> oh, anyways. Oh, sorry, I just hit you in the face. It's fine. I'm um, used to it. That's a joke. I'm not. Please don't send any anyway. reports. <laughs> anyway, I'll call her later. And she's probably back to sleep again. Three, I think that the guys would miss you too much. Okay, before you were famous, you didn't even know each other yet. But yeah, we were friends. True, but your mom let your friends come over every day? No, maybe like once a week. My point exactly. Okay, I get you. But number two is still a problem. I'll call her now. I got my phone out. I know you... Um, 
I called mom. Hey, mom, I was wondering if me and James can book a couple of rooms at the inn and stay overnight and come back to Adventureland that morning and go back to Otomo later that night. Mom, that's what I said in the first place. I know you don't have good ears. I didn't say anything about a chicken. I was just wondering. Okay, I heard you. Yeah, I'll be on my way there right now. No, the chicken isn't wrapped in a towel. Goodness, I hung up. <laughs> the chicken is wrapped in a towel. Because I... Quite the story. I had to figure out something to rhyme with, I'll be on my way there right now. No, the chicken isn't wrapped in a towel. Okay. She said we had to come back to Otomo today, and then we have to go to eventually a website, book two rooms, and then the next day in the morning we can go. But for now, we have to go back to Otomo. We already paid to be in the park. My mom. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, and she said we have to pay our for our own rooms. Yeah, like I expected that. So we ride the Skylift back. Yep. So we walked to the Skylift, jumped on really quick. Believe it or not, we had to stop again at the highest point again. What are the odds of that? I said. The odds of what? What are the odds of stopping at a skylift for the second time at the highest point with the best person ever? Wow, I'd say one in a million. Oh <laughs> this deserves a picture, I said, and took my phone out and took a picture of me and James, all with another capital A. And then I sent it to Allie, or not Allie, Andrea. I'm getting the names that I put confused. Soon, she texted me back saying, OMG, I didn't notice how cute he was. Switch me spots. You can have Kendall and I can have James. Yeah, right, I said, texting her back. What? Oh, nothing. Andrea wants to switch spots with me. She wants you, and she said that I could have Kendall. You're not thinking of- Of course not. No. <laughs> totally wasn't thinking about it with Justin. <laughs> All right, we walked back to James's car, and we went back to a tumble. Wasted trip. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay, so since we're not going back to Adventureland until tomorrow, what do you want to do? Actually, I have an early birthday present for you in my hotel room, in my apartment. From my hotel apartment in my room. Okay, so we're going back to the hotel you first. just found out it was your birthday because you just randomly said that. Yeah, maybe he already got it for me. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Don't question my Don reading. <laughs> okay, yeah. If it's good, then your real... Okay, yeah. If it's good, then your real present will be great. We were back in a tumble in no time, and we were at the hotel. We jumped out of the car and went to the hotel room and got in the elevator. You want to know what the best thing about being here in a tumble is? James said, pushing the number three. What? I replied, not having the paparazzi be all in your face. Oh, yeah, totally. When we arrived at the level three, the door opened and we went to James's room. Okay, sit down here and wait until I come back out. I sat down on the couch and waited for him to come out, and in the corner of my eye, I see a little moving red thing, and then I heard a crash. Haley, come quick, help! I jumped up, so I ran really fast, ran over, and looked at around the house. It's the hotel room. It's a house now. <laughs> the hotel turned into an apartment, now it's a house. And then I saw James on the floor in the most gigantic present ever. <laughs> but instead of noticing that first, I noticed the glass on the table broken in pieces, and even some j pieces in James's face. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh, James! I moved the gigantic present over and helped him up. Oh my gosh, are you okay? What happened? Well, I got your gift, and then I guess I didn't see where I was going. Okay, I'm gonna help you, and you're lucky you're not unconscious. <laughs> I tried... Just pull that glass right out of his face. I sight. tried to take the piece of glass out of James's face without hurting him. Ow! I got the piece of glass out of his face. Sorry, it's okay, and thanks for doing this. I would never leave you like this, and you should have been looking forward to this. To what? Me helping you out? Oh, duh. Yeah, actually, I'll be right back. I got up and ran to the bathroom, got a band-aid, and ran back to James. Here's the solution to all of your problems. I put the band-aid on his face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, for what? What did you do? This wasn't my birthday. None of this would have happened. Yes, I'm sorry for being bored. That's not, that's not your fault. I know. I just feel bad. Oh, but you still haven't opened your gift. Do you want to? Duh. I ran over to it and dragged it over the couch and sat down. Well, go ahead. I took the bow off of it and stuck it on my head. I did that. I do that a lot. If I get a bow on like, a Christmas present or something, I'll pop it on my head. I feel like I've seen you do that in Christmas. My grandma did it, and that's where I got it from. My grandma <laughs> my grandma did it on tape. Oh, man, we just put the VCR back. We did. <laughs> now I'm thinking of watching VHS tapes again. Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, I took the bow off and stuck it on my head. Um, well, go ahead. I tore into it, and it was a box. Oh, goody, a box! Just turn the box around. I struggled to turn it around because it was so big. Then on the front, it said trampoline. My, trampoline. my mouth dropped. 
Get out, I said excited. Oh my gosh, James, I can't believe you got this for me. What do you want me what do you want me to take it back? No way. Thank you so much. I stood up, so now what? James said, Well, we still haven't had that one small kiss that we were supposed to do yesterday. I replied, Oh yeah, why did we not? Because our stupid cell phones rang. <laughs> then we started hearing rain beat against the window. I have an awesome idea. Follow me. <laughs> as soon as we mention the kiss, it starts raining. <laughs> oh, magic. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm gonna finish. It's okay. It was just a spray bottle for cheese. Um. Okay. So, I got an awesome idea. But I'm gonna finish this off, and then it's gonna be done. Okay. Okay, where are we going? Somewhere. He dragged me to the elevator and pushed the top floor button. Why are we going to? Don't talk. Okay. Mm. We soon got to the top, and when the elevator opens, we were at the top of Hotel Atumwa, and at the top, on the roof, it was raining. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, one, if it's raining. Two, the most m most romantic moment we had was when it was raining. Three, it's my birthday. Four, James asked what we were, were going to do next, and then I replied we haven't kissed yet, and the last night of our stupid phones went off. And five, you can't have your cell phones out when it's raining. It's so simple. James is going to kiss me. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Only one problem. I didn't know it was going to happen right then. Anyways. <laughs> it's so simple how you can piece all those things together. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing up here? It's raining and I don't want to get a cold. Hey, you're not going to get a cold, okay? Trust me. So what? Don't talk, I told you. Okay, I started getting really mad. James, tell me what we're doing right now or I'm leaving. Okay, come here. He I walked over to him. What? This. He took his iPod out of his pocket and chose a song to listen to. <laughs> Shakespeare from My Carly by Miranda Cosgrove. Do you like Shakespeare? <laughs> Don't ruin the moment. I shushed. So we listened to the song, and after it ended, we just sat face to face, staring at each other. Well, what are you waiting for? Kiss the birthday girl, I said with a laugh, and he leaned in. And finally, he kissed me. I melted. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Well, I was thinking that maybe we should take the trampoline back <laughs> to my house and set it up. That's that's all that was said after. <laughs> oh, what a romantic moment. So that trampoline. Let's just <laughs> get to bouncing. Sure. So we walked to the elevator, and we didn't talk the rest of the way down. Then when we got to James's room, I helped him carry the trampoline back to the elevator. We pushed the button to the main lobby. So is there any reason you're not talking to me? Huh? Oh, I guess I'm still kind of psyched from the kiss. That's all. Sure you're going to be okay? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. The elevator door opened and we carried the trampoline to his car and sat it in the back seat. There's no way that thing would have sat in the back seat of his car, whatever car it was. So we're going to your house? Yep. So I'll set up the trampoline while, while I book a couple rooms for the inn at Adventureland. Deal. I'll come in and tell you when it's finished. Okay. So we soon got to my house. I got on my mom's laptop and we went to the Adventureland website to book a room right at the very tip top of the end. I did, and it only cost me 50 bucks. Remember how my mom said we had to pay ourselves? After that, I booked James's room, the closest room to the pool. His cost $50 too. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. I said printing out the pages of the site for information. I shut the So line. that's how prices work. Just um, 50 bucks. I feel like that was possibly the old price, and now it's like 150 <laughs> any room you get. I shook the laptop screen and checked on James outside. He was jumping up and down on the trampoline, doing a bunch of different tricks. Isn't it still raining? No, apparently not. <laughs> I walked out the door to go talk to him. Wow, it works, I said, getting on the trampoline. I started jumping up and down. Whoa, it's quite bouncy. I did a backflip. <laughs> quite wow, bouncy. I feel so alive. And, oh my gosh, I just got the best idea, too. Oh boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here at the best idea. So, uh... What will the best idea at the trampoline be? Find out on the next you, episode! Yes, you will find out on the next episode what my amazing idea that has to do with the trampoline will be. And, uh... I know it happens, and it's, uh... Once again, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's, 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 uh... Cringeworthy, but it's, uh... Not good. So, um... <laughs> Let's see, I've already tried killing James by drowning him, almost cheated on him with Justin Bieber. What can be next? Guess we'll find out in the next episode.